What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar, and we are talking about Jesus Coin today. Um, and yes, I've been made aware of the the bridge with Solana. Um, I was looking at a chart, man. I'm I'm drawing some crazy ideas here, okay? And maybe they're not crazy. I don't know. Type in Jesus. Uh, this is the chart, the Uniswap chart that I've been using for a while. It's been the most volume up until uh, yesterday. Up until yesterday, where this was the one with the most volume, by a significant degree, actually. Right, Jesus here. It's this one. It's Solana, Jesus on Soul, but on Radium, right? Um, which I don't think it's that's I don't think it's the same as the bridge on Solana, right? I, I don't I don't know I, I don't think it is, but 4.2 million versus 1.9 million that's that's pretty damn, damn significant, man. It's got the Jesus Coin logo. I hope they got it right. Like I, I don't understand why the price is so much more substantially higher than this is, but that's four zeros three seven. We're at six zeros one eight, man. That's that's pretty nuts. That is pretty nuts. To be fair, 4.2 is a lot of volume compared to what we have in price now. At that price, 4.2 is not a lot of volume for what the market cap would be. Um, should be like 42 million. But uh, I want to look at this thing on CoinGecko real quick. CoinGecko. What's the volume say we have? 1.7. So. I don't know if this volume is just not being counted. I don't. I don't know what. But we're going to use the same chart that we've been using, because that's after all what uh, what CoinGecko is telling us the price is. You know everything, and that that matches with this price. I don't know. Somebody help me out in the comments. Maybe you have a, a better brain or better information than I do. But uh, here it is. Jesus Coin kind of did more or less what I was calling for yesterday. It went up here, pulled back a little bit. We're up today so far. Looks good. Um, I would love to be wrong, guys. And seeing these days green back to back like this, it, it gives me some uh, excitement that I could be wrong. I'm just not convinced that I am, man. We're at that 123 moving average. To be fair, doing this right now, it's kind of the same thing that we did over here. Right? I'm going to take away the fib. We are like, here we tipped it and moved up. We didn't tip it and move down. It looked like we did. It looked kind of like we were doing that right here. Um, but we're hugging it. Last time we hugged it, we broke through it. Could we? Could we be breaking through it now? I, I don't know, man. I don't. I would love that, but I don't know. Um, as of yesterday, we did close above the 60. We closed in the bullish area of control. We absolutely did break out of this downtrend in the daily RSI. I'm a little bit more hopeful than I was yesterday, guys. That 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 could have been the low. I'm a little bit more despaired than I was yesterday that that could be the low. I say despaired because I wanted to buy some more Jesus coin at lower prices. But go up, go up, make us all money. Oh no. <laughs> like, oh well, that's, you know, that, that's not a problem at all. I don't think any of us are going to be upset with that. We were up 97.6% this week. If we close this week here or higher, we'll be above the 50, which is also another achievement to make. If we can close the week above this line, above six zeros two, two zero one eight technically. That would be awesome. That'd be very awesome. Because we'd be closing below this Christmas week dump week, the low week that we had here, we'd be closing above that low. And that would add more fuel to the fire that we could be moving up. No, we do not have higher lows or higher highs yet. We do not have higher lows either. So I just want to prepare you, okay? If we do continue to move up from here, we we break this lower high trend, we likely will see some kind of a pullback still, probably around these areas, right? It's not in me to buy these things, right? I do think it's gonna go up higher. I did want to buy down here, but if I'm wrong and Jesus Coin does go up from here and it finds resistance maybe at this high, maybe somewhere between, and it pulls back, Maybe it pulls back to this price area. Maybe it pulls back a little bit higher. I'm not going to buy here. I'm going to buy over here whenever it pulls back. And if it doesn't pull back, 
Well, then what I do is I just take the money I was planning on putting in Jesus coin and I find something else because I've already packed my bags. I've got some pretty uh, hefty bags myself of Jesus coin, man. I've been buying this thing like literally since since this red day here. That was, I believe that was my first purchase. If not, was it September 28th? I think it was October 2nd. I don't know. Uh, but I bought these lows here. I bought that low and that low literally. I bought this low. I bought these lows and I bought that top. <laughs> I had the Christmas uh, Christmas Day euphoria about me, man. The burn got me euphoric, and I lost I lost sight of the game plan. Which for all that time I've been saying sell the burn would have been a good good time to do it. But in my head, you know, something else that was holding me back from it was uh, taxes. We were at the end of the year, and just just lesson learned, right? It's good to save on taxes, sure, but like if if you're at a top area take profits take profits right it's not it's not worth it right if i had to pay let's say i had to pay like 35 percent taxes on my stuff right talking about a 76 percent loss it, it would have been worth it to, to pay the taxes right um but that's okay you never know in in hindsight heights hindsight's always 2020 but you never know um right now talking about the right now things are looking good you guys I'm still not convinced. I'm more hopeful than I was yesterday. Hope being the key word. I'm not, uh, I'm not convinced. Until we have a higher high, I'm not convinced. Let's look at this for what it is. From relative high to relative low, we could today, if we can, it would be really great, close above the 382. If we close above this 382, the next target would be at the 618. Okay, and that would be all the way at 6027. I've already said that I think that a very crucial place to close above would be this low here. Right here. At about 6020, right? It's also the weekly uh, close of Christmas week, which was, what, it was over here? This week, yeah. Right there. Um, I, I believe, or no, maybe it was this day here. It was on the 25th, so that would have been it. It would have been this day. Still kind of in the same areas. Um, that's like our daily, our last like significant daily lower, uh, lower low close that we have like standing in our way. You know, uh, sorry if I'm if I'm fumbling on my words. What I'm trying to say is that that six zero two zero area is a very crucial point to close above. It would be very nice to see it if we can get a day close above that. I will start to get excited. I'm already a little bit excited. Okay, I'm a little bit more excited. Still, I'm cautiously excited. I still almost am expecting prices to go down here, but there are things shifting the tides right now. There are things that are shifting the tides. Um, if we close above this, that would get me more excited. If we close above the 618, I'm going to get giddy. And if we get a new high, it's undeniable at that point that that's the low. That's the low. Anything could happen. You never know the future. Sure, something crazy could happen where we go lower than that low, but I doubt it. I very much doubt it. We take that high out. Same thing as it was back here, as it is down here, as it is down here, as it is here. If we take that high out, it's on. It is on. It is on all the way up to six zeros nine. Potentially five zeros one six and potentially higher than that before we see our next major phase of, of uh, consolidation. And we will, we will. Well, as we did here, as we did here, we won't move up in a straight line forever. We will, you know, we'll, we'll break out to new all-time highs, have our, have our fun in the sun, and then we'll consolidate again, you know. And right here, from this high to this low, we did see a rejection at the 1414. In perspective, from this high to this low, that would take us to about, Five zeros, one two two, uh, one two two eight, and maybe that's that's where this thing tops off. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but absolutely we could go higher. We could see the one six one eight. We could see deeper extensions. It is possible. Jesus coin, in my opinion, is getting more on the map. This pump could be more bullish on a fit perspective than the last pump was. It absolutely could. And actually, I, I wonder. I'm curious. Let's see. Low to high. That's a almost a sixty two x. I love it, man. I love this thing. Uh, low here to the 1618, that's a 19x, 2272 would be greater. So if we see deep extensions, we see the twos, you guys, I mean, we're gonna, we could potentially see a bigger pump than last time from low to high. It is possible. We're going to have more volume coming in, more interest, potentials of getting listed on exchanges, which would drive the price higher, of course. Um, who knows? Who knows, man? 
Who knows all the other reasons that we don't know yet as to why this thing could pump. Sure, the Solana bridge is happening. I don't know how bullish that is or not. It's another on-ramp or another another thing. You know, I, what I do think is bullish about that is that Solana memes are really popular right now. They're kind of like a hot commodity. And bridging Jesus coin to Solana, that, that could add some fuel to the fire for sure. I am still curious as to what's up with this. Maybe someone knows better than I do, but like I, it's got the logo and everything. It says 4.2 million in volume. I can't figure out what the the market cap would be on this, but that's not the uh, that's not the price, right? That's definitely not the price of this. What we have here, um, so I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they can be different prices. I, I really don't know. But oh man. What I'm trying to say is I'm a little bit more excited than I was yesterday. There is some hope in me. And I hope it's not the same thing that happened here. <laughs> where I had hope that we could go up and then it slowly got diminished. And then inevitably I was like, okay, we're going down. <laughs> you know, it could happen. Um, but again, I've given you the things to look out for. If you want to be bearish, if you want prices to go lower, get a close below 60148. And we can talk about you going lower. Really, obviously, you'd have to close below this low, which at that point, just really take out that low. Um, but the 382, the 618, those areas could definitely be uh, areas to watch for. But as of right now, the daily RSI looks good. The four-hour RSI looks pretty damn good. The volume looks nice. Um, let's keep it up, man. Let's keep it going. Somebody, I forget who it was. Oh, man. I think it was the same guy that I forgot his name. I, I would know it if I saw it, but I just can't think of the name right now. Um, was saying that Jesus coin will likely pump into the Solana bridge. And then once that happens, then, you know, then we'll chill. And that makes sense to me, man. You buy the hype, sell the news, right? The hype is that the Solana bridge is going to be good for Jesus coin. And then once it happens, then things chill for a second, you know, but it is going to be good for Jesus Coin. I think it will be good for Jesus Coin. But uh, maybe there's other reasons than what I've what I've illustrated as reasons why. Um, but nonetheless, more exposure. Bridging with Solana is cool. Again, Solana memes are very very popular. I know a lot of people in the community don't like to think of Jesus Coin as a meme coin, but it is a meme coin. And that's not an insult. That's not that's not an insult at all. But um, it's a crypto named after Jesus. It's it's a meme coin, right? Like. Just like Dogecoin got its name after a Shiba Inu dog, and, and he named it Doge after his Doge, after his dog. Like, you know, it, Jesus Coin doesn't have a funny name to it. It's just Jesus, but but it's still a meme coin. It's not Jesus. It's a meme of Jesus, right? That's, that's what it is. And that's, that's not an insult. Um, that's really what a lot of people are rallying behind and potentially could send the price higher, man. It really could. So I don't know. I don't know. I like what I really like is that yesterday we saw more volume. That's the volume I like to see, man. This, this, we had at one point it was like two million dollars uh, in volume. That's better for this this kind of market cap, right? Let's get some more volume in there. That'd be nice to see. But, but this this is looking good. Moving up, closing higher. Uh, get a close above this 123 moving average. Get a close above six zeros two. Get a close above that high. Those are the three things that I want to see. Um, I will. I will be more convinced when we close above the 123. I'll be a little more convinced when we close above the 602 area. And I will be entirely convinced once we close above this high. Really, even if we close above that high, I'm probably going to be pretty convinced. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Things are looking exciting. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, would I buy here? Probably not. I, I'm, I'm not going to buy here. I'm looking to buy more, but I wouldn't buy here. Even if the price goes all the way up here or higher, I'd rather it pull back and I buy up here personally because we are still in this lower high trajectory. We very well still could go down here. You, you, we very well still could go down there. So don't play the game. I don't, I don't know. That, that's how I look at it. I just don't play the, <clears throat> play the game. But if you're feeling it, you're feeling frisky, go for it. You know, It's your money. Do what you want. I'm not a financial advisor, but... That's just how I would go about it, right? I like to I like to be uh, risk adverse when I can. I say that, and I'm talking about a coin that has a market cap of 29 million dollars. So, so that might be a little bit of a of an idiom, but uh, is that the right term use of the word? Maybe I'm thinking oxymoron. What's I don't know if idiom define idiom idiom. 
Group of words established by usage having meaning non deductible from those of the individual words. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. No. I don't know. Figurative non literal meaning. No. Not not an idiom. Definitely not an idiom. Okay, so anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Looking good. Has some more proving to do. Hope it does. Hit that like button. See you on the next one. Bye bye.